Good morning. Our animals are like, what are you guys doing up? Go to bed. You're supposed to be in bed. Hey, what's up family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics and then every Monday, we go live on Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com, and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon in that way. Every single time we get up at three o'clock in the morning and it upsets our pets, you'll be alerted to Three o'clock? It's not even three o'clock yet. It's nearly. It's three. nearly, but we've been up, well, we really didn't go to bed. I think I slept for 20 minutes. <laughs> it's the worst kind of sleep because it's that light sleep that I wake up and I'm like, oh, oh. Oh, did I go to sleep? Because you're afraid you're going to oversleep. You put on Twilight. Well, that's keeping me up. I'm just watching the movie. I actually got, really like that movie. I've I shouldn't got, admit that as a guy, but it, I really <laughs> like that movie. Me too, but I can close my eyes and I've seen it so many times that I can actually hear the uh, the dialogue and not have to watch the, the movie. There is nothing like drinking a whole bunch of coffee at 2.30 in the morning. But I have a long drive to do. Um, and you don't want to go to sleep on Michelle. I do not want to go to sleep on Michelle. Well, I know I can't. I don't even really need coffee because if a, if a child is driving, I'm awake. Right. right. I mean, if Joe is driving, I'm awake. As a passenger, I feel like that is my duty as the passenger to stay alert. So we're having some coffee. So we've got... Um, a coffee that I didn't want to turn the Vitamix on high because the boys were sleeping. Although they always wake me up at 2 o'clock in the morning. I don't know why I'm worried about it. We're not going to return the favor. So though. we've got a pot of coffee that I put whatever butter was left in the butter dish, which I'm going to say was about three tablespoons. I decided after about a month I should probably clean out the butter dish. That's probably why. So I scraped all the butter out of it. And now I just washed it. And so there's a little bit of butter floating on top. But I'm not going to complain. No. About getting a sip of butter when I drink my coffee. Well, and whatever I don't finish here, I'm going to be drinking on the road. So, mm -hmm. which is nice. And then I'm also packing my bag for the road. I know Michelle is packing a little cooler too, so I'll just add to her cooler when I get there. But I'm since it's like a... Hour I and wanted half. to say what this is. Oh, I'm sorry. This is, so this is out of the Nespresso machine. And so this is my newfound love. Whoa. These are the Lungos. I think mm. that's how you pronounce it right. Dang. And it's inspired by like Americano coffees, but it's basically a quadruple shot of espresso. Wow, that's and, good though. Uh, I put two drops of liquid sucralose in there. Just enough just to sweeten because, it up. Like, I was saying, like, on Matreya's live stream the other day, you don't understand. Like, it's we, radical. We can, we can drink coffee all the time. It does not affect us. It doesn't, like, keep us awake. It'll, it'll wake us up in the morning, but we could drink it at midnight and still fall right to sleep. Yeah. But um, before keto, I used to drink, like, triple shot Cuban coffees. I just, and, and like espresso, Italian coffee, that kind of stuff, that is, I can take or leave this, but this, game changer. Well, and it's always sweetened here. Yeah. That's well, how even we without it, I just like that taste. But yeah, Cuban coffee should be like ridiculously sweet. Right. So I need a little sweetness. But two drops of liquor sucralose is, is not very sweet when you would look at a Cuban coffee. I mean, right. that, that's like, really? But it's very sweet for keto. It's, it's very sweet for me. But so yeah. that, that is our coffee. And then Rachel's got the rest of the pot in here for her drive. So I got my bougie RV. We did a review of this on our camping on channel. our camping channel. I'll leave a link for that up here. But we but we actually went back in and I got this coral one because I just thought it was so pretty. We bought four of them. Yeah, well, I thought this was so pretty for me. We got some as gifts um, because it really is a nice cooler. It's super super thick as far as. 
Um, the insulation is like insane. The thing about this cooler is um, you can get them on Amazon. I'll leave a link down below. But it's the equivalent of getting like a soft sided like Yeti. Only I think it's better. Yeah. Uh, it, it'll it keep ice for up to three days. We've had ice staying there for like three days. No problems. And Fraction I'm talking about of the in, price. I'm talking about in Florida heat, the, the ice keeping in there. That's where you test it. And it is leak proof. And and for a soft sided cooler, it's leak crazy. proof. It, it's got one of those special type of zippers on the top. So they yeah. can give you like a silicone lubricant. Right. And uh, it's got the zipper pocket in the front, but it holds its shape, but it can be compressed down. Yeah. It's the best soft-sided cooler I've ever, ever used. Yeah. So, it's really, really nice. Not affiliated or anything. We did no. a review. They gave us one for a review, but we don't make money off of it, but well, you can get them on Amazon. And we like the colors better. The mm -hmm. color variety is cuter. So I'm bringing... A Mac ton of hard boiled eggs. Hard boiled eggs. That's going with us. Do you have your Redmond? Of course. That's okay. in my purse. Okay. Um, I'm taking these uh, Green Ridge beef snack sticks. These things are awesome. And you can just like snap them in half. Yeah. And feel like you're getting an entire long meal. So we sick. get these at Costco. And if you're curious, the ingredients in these are beef water and then contain two percent or less of sea salt celery powder vinegar garlic natural flavors in a sheet casing that's it that's all the ingredients it's They're one super of the tasty. cleanest things i've ever seen and uh so here's the only my biggest complaint about this a serving size is a half a stick it's not the whole stick. I'm going to eat the whole but stick. But we're going to eat the whole stick. But I wish they would just say a serving is the whole stick. Right. Because it's misleading. Because then in big numbers, it's 110 calories per serving. So it's really 220. 8 grams of fat. And then uh, 9 grams of protein with zero total carbohydrates. So perfect one-to-one. -one. But again... A serving is a stick. It's not a half a stick. My favorite moment with these... And I like the fact that it's it's like sealed up. Four right. vacuum sealed. So you can rip it open. You haven't opened up not all have, 12. You've right. opened up four of them. My favorite moment with these beef sticks were when we were traveling to Universal Studios with Chris and Miriam. And um, I handed one to Chris. And it was like, his face was just like, this meat stick keeps coming and coming because it was just like so long. Very satisfying. And, but you're not used to something that big. I think you have one other thing you're going to bring in. Yeah. Oh gosh, yes. Obviously. But this is this is life yep. right here every single day. But I put a variety. Michelle loves the relights. Yeah, so do I. So um, I put a whole variety pack in here. So it's like watermelon, lime, and lemon lime. Because I don't remember. I took my watermelon. I'm sorry. I can't remember which one she likes the best. So I just want to make sure I had a variety. Because I got pina colada in here also. Okay. So just in case. So uh, this is going to be a different vlog. We're going to try to keep it to our normal time frame and not make it ridiculous. 400 long. minutes as usual. But what we're going to do is over the next couple days, we're going to vlog separately. So, uh Rachel's going to send us send me what she does and then I'll probably do nothing except for work on a computer, go cut grass with Anthony and uh I don't know, be lonely. So Rachel's gone for a couple days hanging out with Michelle. They're taking Jenny up to go bird hunting or I guess more like teaching Jenny to go bird hunting. It's, it's kind of cool. Uh, she learns how to flush birds out, you know, because that's like what her breed does. And, uh, I will be home doing various work and getting ready for lacrosse. I got to study for my lacrosse exam. Uh, the boys will probably be out doing their own thing. Anthony is, I think, going to cook that meal. So I'm excited. We're going to film all of that. And when it comes to eating, it goes one of two ways when Rachel is gone from me. Either A, I eat out of boredom because she's not around and I miss her. So I get very snacky and eat a whole bunch of like different keto snacks and like kind of pick all day long. Or B, I don't really eat. I'm going to try to fix that this time. And what I want to try to do is continue to maintain what I normally do, which is eat a couple of meals a day, maybe a little something in there as part of my meals, like a Nola bar or something. I mean, I haven't really had any of that kind of stuff because, you know, we've been doing beef, butter, bacon, egg and things like that. So 
I'm going to try to be better. I'm going to actually try to eat. I'm not trying to lose any weight. There's no reason for me to binge. And if I do eat an actual meal, I shouldn't have a reason to binge because I'm going to fill myself up. And we talk about that all the time. Like when we want to snack, snacking, as Dr. Slavis always says, is an emotional vent. And I know that that is true for me. So when Rachel's gone, it's emotional. I like hanging out with her. I like doing things with her. And when she's not around, I distract myself with snacking and I don't want to do that. Uh, I am treating myself today though. So I've got my big 128 ounce cup and in here I put uh, 10 ounces of Coke Zero. We went to Wawa. So I literally got like one of their little cups that holds 16 ounces. I put ice in there and then filled it the rest of the way with Coke Zero. So it's about 10 ounces of actual Coke Zero. And then I filled the rest of it with just seltzer water. So a little bit of a flavor of a Coke Zero, but extremely watered down. And that's what I'm drinking throughout the day. And then once I get home, it's just gonna be seltzer water and electrolytes. Jimmy! Shake it off. Oh, Jimmy. How sweet. Jenny, that's your family. Oh, here comes Jenny's mom. There's Jenny's mommy. <laughs> Baby Jenny's. Baby Jenny's. Look at the little baby. This is my ram. They're so tiny. He's my boy boy. He's my boy boy. Oh my gracious. He's my boy boy. Are you my good boy? So Jenny and I look pretty rough. We got caught in a rainstorm. We had such a great time. Um, just seeing where Jenny is originally from. She's kind of from the, the Panhandle area of Florida. And it was such a nice treat to get to be reunited with her mom, play with her, I guess, like brothers and sisters from another litter. She had such a great time. We got to see some horses and um, llamas and sheep and big giant tortoises. And we just had an absolute ball. Um, so far, all I have had is some hard boiled eggs. We had a long drive. It's now about three o'clock. We're gonna settle into our hotel, which is a courtyard by Marriott, and then we're gonna figure out what we're gonna eat. This is a pretty small town. It's Quincy, Florida, is where we are right now, back in the Eastern time zone. So uh, a little earlier, we were in Central time zone. Now we're in Eastern, and we've got some sausages. We have eggs, so if we can't find a grocery store around here. We'll be okay for the night, but um, I'm glad we packed some things because right now I'm pretty hungry. So what are we making? Birria. What is it called? It's called birria. And what is it? It's like a, a food for, you make it with tacos. It's it usually make birria tacos, but this is just gonna be a birria, birria. You're gonna fold it in cheese and then you're gonna wrap it up. I saw it on YouTube, so I'm gonna try it. What is the name of the YouTube channel you saw this on? Uh, Joshua Weissman. He's a really good cook if you wanna learn some good cooking skills, but he wrapped it in Oaxaca cheese that I have right here. And then just, and then made it into a sandwich. Okay. So what kind of meat are we using? Cause you're prepping the meat right now, right? Yeah. We're going to put the whole link for the video down below. Since it's not our recipe, we're just going to link you to the video that yeah. you've seen this on. So I have about three pounds of truck roast. Uh, I have four short ribs, beef short ribs. And then I have about 10 ounces of oxtail. You're going to put it all in a, in a, in a pot over there. You're going to sear it. And then you're gonna just slow roast it over some chilies and some beef stock. What do you got there? So three different types of chilies. You have arrobo chilies, guajillo chilies, and ancho chilies. 
Incredibly hard to find these. I had to went to six different stores to find this. Really? Six different. Four Publixes, a Walmart, a Whole Foods, and Aldi had it. <laughs> Should have gone to Aldi first. Should have went to Aldi first. Do they smell good? They smell really good. But you need two of these Robo chilies, five of Guajillo chilies, and then five Ancho chilies. And you got to de seed them, obviously, because you don't want to have that many. Oh, wow. Yeah, because all the heat's going to be in the seed. Is this going to be an expensive meal to prepare? It will be an expensive meal to prepare. <laughs> but it's going to be really good. It will be. But with all that meat, I bet you it serves a lot. It serves. So the recipe that he used, which I'm, I'm adding a little bit of meat, but the, the recipe serves six to eight people. So you could always cut it in half. Or just me and your mom. Yeah, or just me. So what are we doing right now? Right now I am de-seeding all of the chilies so that you're not eating all that spice. That would be a lot of spice. It would be. You could probably make a really good like pepper or red, red pepper flake with this. So, like, how hot are these peppers? They're not that hot. They, if you eat the seeds, obviously they're hot. But so they're you, not like ghost pepper hot. No, they're lots you, of flavor. If you smell it, it honestly smells very sweet. It kind of smells like the fruit that you get from like a like a organic fruit by the foot. It's kind of what it smells like. He's right. Wow, that is. That's bringing back memories of when I was a kid and we would go camping and our treat was always the fruit roll-ups. Do you remember those fruit roll-ups, the big, long, wide ones? They were probably about eight inches. Probably was all sugar. I, I know it was all sugar and supposedly made with real fruit. That's what this smells like. It smells like the strawberry fruit roll-ups. You're enjoying this nice big butcher block table, right? Never need to I really am. use a chopping block or, uh, you know, a cutting board, huh? I, I am enjoying it. So now once, so I've gotten the chilies ready. I diced up the onion. How much onion we have there? It's a whole onion. It's a whole yellow onion. Green that yellow is a onion. lot of onion for one year. You did a good job dicing that one up. I thought I did terrible. So <laughs> thank you. So uh, you're going to take all your meat and salt it all over the meat. So, okay, well, this is keto, so we're good with yeah, salting so our meat. We're good with salting it. So, I mean, I'm just going to put it all out. And and I am, it was, you're supposed to use a, 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 chuck, a, 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 ro a chuck roast without a bone. I have a bone, and I'm going to throw it in there for extra flavor. So, well, you throw it in there with the flavor. Let all of the meat, because you're going to basically just let this simmer, right? So the meat's just going to fall off the bone. Yeah. And, you know, you've got lots of collagen in there and fat in there. It's going to add a bunch of flavor, and then you can just pull the bone out when you're all done. Yep. Plus, there's going to be bones in the short ribs. Yeah. What kind of salt are we using? Uh, is that even a question? That's not, <laughs> that shouldn't even be a question. We're using Redmond. No, but I mean, or, like, so is this a kosher salt? Is this a uh, fine salt? This is, I think it's kosher salt that I'm putting on this. Yeah, so you really want to salt your meat with kosher salt. You don't really want to use like the fine salt. Kosher salt is going to pull out more moisture and tenderize the meat better than using a fine salt. That's A lot of people think kosher salt is like a bless salt, but it's really referring to the size of the salt. Yeah. So you have, Redmond actually has three different kinds. Actually, they have four. They have a popcorn salt too. But they have uh, the regular table salt, like they call it fine salt. They have kosher salt, and they also have coarse salt, which you would put like in a grinder or something like that if you want to like fresh grind your salt. For all the people who are probably looking, I am not putting, not, not touching the meat and putting my hand in this salt, just so they all know. Well, salt kills everything anyway. Well, I understand, but I'm sorry. We are going to have to ask a question that I know a lot of people are going to ask, though. Hmm. Can you put your hair down? No. <laughs> I don't cook with my hair down. You know, how long is your hair, though? Down below, like halfway down my back. What are we doing now? So, I'm, I'm preparing everything first before I put the meat on. Smart. So I'm, I'm, so eventually you're going to put a bunch of beef stock in there. It's going to simmer in there. But I'm putting together just a little a thing for all the spices. So in the spice are going to go a tablespoon of black peppercorns, tablespoon of coriander seeds, And if you're a little off on this, that's okay. Yeah, this, this is isn't even perfect. And then I'm going to go with okay, the cinnamon, a whole cinnamon stick. Whole cinnamon stick and then five bay leaves. You're going to put that in and then you're just going to fold it up and then tie it with butcher's twine and then it'll get used later. 
Okay, so we're putting this inside a cheesecloth. Yes, inside of cheesecloth. Probably should have cut that a little bit wider. Yeah, I should have. But you know what? We live and we learn. So take two. Take two. I have a bigger piece of cheesecloth. Same tablespoon of black pepper, tablespoon of coriander seeds, the five bay leaves, and then your cinnamon stick. I put it, you're going to roll it up so that it's nice and just together. You should. Are you going to fold in the edges? I will fold in the edges, but... Oh, okay. Do this. I'm not perfect at this, so... You're basically making a spice satchel. Yeah, basically. There you go. And now you're just gonna tie it all together with some butcher string. Looks like this now. So now, once you have all that prep, you can bring your, your whatever you're using. We're using a Dutch oven because I wanna make sure we have enough room. And you're going to sear all of your meat on each side for around two minutes. So it's not gonna cook it through. And you're gonna take it off and we're gonna add the onions and everything else after. Why do we sear? to lock in the flavor. Oh, that's the sizzle you want. Now, one thing, when you have to sear this much meat, take your time, do yeah. a few pieces, get them seared, pull them out, put them off to the side, because what's gonna happen is, is the temperature of that pan is gonna drop. So you wanna do a few pieces, pull them out, let the, temp the pot come back up to temperature, and then do the rest of your meat. Now, how long do we sear each side? Two to three minutes per side, or until they, you know, golden, you know, just like a steak. Not done. Tabitha is eagerly awaiting any scraps that may happen to hit the ground. She's like, this place smells really good, but also, I just want to lay here. Oh, look at the bottom of my pan. It'll all come off. What are we going to do there? So, you're going to take your whole onion that you have, you're going to lower the heat a little bit, you're going to put it in there, and saute it until it's soft. I love the smell of cooking onions. So once the onions are soft, as you can see, the bottom's already clearing back up, you're going to add in tomato paste, or the tablespoon to be exact. Doesn't need to be exact. At least, I'm never exact. You cook using your soul, not using measurements. So it calls for eight cloves of garlic, but I don't feel like cutting it and we don't have any. So I am going to use three tablespoons of just minced garlic to put in there instead. Yeah, generally, if you're using like pre-minced garlic, you want to use a little bit more than fresh garlic. Uh, so one teaspoon is supposed to be a clove. So you're really using about nine cloves now. All right, so once it's sauteed for a little bit, gonna sound like a lot you're gonna add in two and a half quarts of beef stock so it's obviously one of these is a quart so you're gonna add two and a half of these now you can use homemade bone broth if you have it we don't have that much left and so we bought this and this is buy one get one free at Publix right now so not the cleanest ingredients, but that's okay. I'm not really worried about it. Once you have all the beef stock in there, you're then gonna take your chilies. You're just gonna put them right on in there. Oh, that's gonna really rehydrate them. That's gonna bring out a lot of flavor. It's gonna taste like strawberry fruit roll-ups. So you'll mix them in, and now you can add your beef back in. All right, try to get it as submerged as you possibly can. And then now you just let it sit and you let it simmer for an hour. I completely forgot. Add your spice mix. <laughs> that would have been important. That, that, that That's a lot of flavor that, that you were going to be missing. a lot of flavor that I was going to forget. Okay, so it is pretty wet and miserable here in Quincy, Florida. And we looked for some restaurants that we could go to. And there was nothing that really stood out. There were a couple of wing places, but the wings were breaded. And then there were some barbecue places, but it seems like everything was very heavily sauced. So we are on vacation, but we want to make good decisions that we won't regret, not just because we don't want to eat something off plan, but also we have a long day out in the wilderness tomorrow and I don't want to feel like sweaty garbage. So it was easy for me to say, hey, what's a local grocery store that's close to our hotel? Turns out it was Publix. We love Publix. And I just got 
an entire rotisserie chicken. Now I'm going to be eating the skin and I'm going to be eating the parts of the chicken that I like best. But even if I discard stuff or maybe not share with Jenny, because I have a feeling that my grand puppy will love some fresh cooked chicken. Um, but yeah, $7.39. Can't really do better than that. The wing places around here were like 10 wings for like $12. So I'm actually saving money. I bought a little bottle of Frank's Red Hot, the original sauce, because the ingredients in this is different than wing sauce. You get wing sauce and you're gonna get a whole bunch of inflammatory ingredients. But if you get just the original Frank's Red Hot, it's got aged cayenne, red pepper, distilled vinegar, water, salt, and garlic powder. So really good for on the road. Now it is Michelle's turn to go into Publix and grab something, but there's so many options. If she wants a salad, if she wants, they, a lot of times they will turn a sub into a bowl if you would like to. So there's a lot of options at the grocery store and we're going to take it back to the hotel and enjoy it. This house smells amazing. Anthony's got, what is this called again? Birria. His birria cooking. He's making bread over here, which we're not gonna show you because it's like too tempting. And then I'm also cooking a protein sparing bread in the Innova oven. I've got it at 65% humidity. Look at the way that thing is popping up. And I have some uh, dried onions on top. So once your hour is done, you gotta take the lid off. Oh, look at how good that looks. That looks amazing. Now, are you gonna get that meat out without it shredding to pieces? So it's not, it shouldn't shred too much yet because it's still gonna go back in there for another hour and a half. Okay. So you're gonna find all of your chili, all of your, all of your pieces of chili, which might take me a while. And then you need to put it all in a blender. So we will come back when I have all of that. So now once you have all this, you're then gonna take, uh, if I remember, it should be two cups of the actual stock. And you're gonna pour it in your blender. Bring it over to your blender, cover it, and never remember how to use this. Turn it all the way down. You'll blend it up for a decent amount of time until it's nice and smooth, let's put it that way. When it's done blending, oh my gosh, it's so good. You just put it right back in. Oh wow, that's gonna add so much flavor. So once you add it, stir it a little bit. Try not to rip the meat up too much. And then you let it sit for 90 more minutes. And when we get back, we can shred it up. So this is not a quick cook meal. No, this is a, this is a, long process if you want to make this. How are we doing? So it is, the 90 minutes has passed and then some because I just felt like letting it sit for a little bit longer. Oh, look at that is like reduced. Look, I mean, you can see how high the liquid was. And so it is really reduced. So now- Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna test this. Okay, you and these. This, this right here, you don't need those. All you need is a couple forks. Yeah, but oh, it's easier. look at that. Look at that. That that looks beautiful. Beautiful. So as I was going through it, there was a part of the chuck roast that we had a bone with right. that had meat on it. It's If I can get it. Uh, see, if you're going to do this, don't be mean. Wear, wear a shirt you don't care if you splashes on it. We're all keto. Every one of our shirts is covered in bacon grease. This This had meat on it. Look at all that bone marrow, though. This is going to be Tabitha's. So we're going to let that cool. Yeah. That'll become Tabitha's, but you'll fish out your spices, obviously. Like you're not going to eat that. You're going to fish out your meat, then you're going to shred it as fine as you can, and then we'll come back when that's done. So you can leave this on and just let it simmer for a little bit. What are we going to do with this? Well, so once it's done, we'll take it and you'll, you'll ladle some of it into the shredded meat and then it'll kind of make like a better it'll just taste better be honest and then at that point 
Usually, if you were to make a taco or something, you would keep the, like, because it's the fat and the drippings in there, and you would dip the taco in the fat, and then that's how you would eat it. My dad can have the, the protein sparing bread, but I'm having normal bread. So if you make it into a sandwich, if you watch the video that he'll link, uh, the way that he makes a sandwich, or if you use the bread that, that you can make, you just layer and you brush the fat onto the bread, and then you eat it like a sandwich. So one thing I did want to say is that Anthony is not keto, and so he does eat bread from time to time. But since we started keto, one of the things that he started doing is looking at ingredients and things. And so now when he wants bread, he doesn't go to the store and buy bread. He makes his own. And that does a couple things. Number one, it allows him to control the ingredients. And number two, it makes him really appreciate the bread. Like you're not going to eat yeah. an entire loaf of bread that you just spent five hours yeah. making. You're gonna really savor it and appreciate it and not be the way I used to be where you'd eat a whole loaf in a sitting. So what is all this lettuce and the onion, and what is this over here? Is that cilantro. parsley? Cilantro, oh, I love cilantro. So that's for what? It's for when I put it on a sandwich. Okay, so we're gonna do yours on your regular bread, and then mine is gonna go on this protein sparing bread. And I made this, this is the method that Maria Emmerich has with 12 egg whites, and then uh, we add the egg white protein powder, and then I add one scoop of chicken soup keto chow, and then three egg yolks. So while Anthony is preparing that, I'm gonna slice this and what see what the inside looks like. And, and there's our bread. Wow, that's gonna be good meat on this bread. This is how you can tell if it's done, if it just, the bone just slides out of it. Oh like yeah. So at this point, you're gonna shred it, get all the bones that you possibly can out. This was a lot of bone, but you know, it's hard to hold when it's hot. That's why I have the claws, but get as much. And if you don't want the, the extra chilies in there, get rid of the chilies. Once you've shredded it, you'll take some of your liquid that's still remaining. Oh, I actually missed some of the meat in here, but you'll just take it. You just label some of it right in to there and you'll give it a mix. Once you have all the meat shredded and you've mixed it up, you're gonna have, you're gonna need to get, I don't know, I can never pronounce it right. Oaxaca cheese, I think is how it's pronounced. So you're gonna shred this, a lot of it, so I have about a little bit less than two pounds. You're just gonna shred it and then we're gonna melt it in a pot and then we're going to pretty much make a taco shell, but with the cheese. And you're also gonna to wanna to freeze it to help uh, shred it a little bit because it's like mozzarella, where if you try to shred mozzarella when it's not completely like stiff, it will just break apart. Now all the street cheese is shredded. I'm gonna take this piece of cilantro and put it over here. You're gonna to come to your pan. It's been kind of getting hot. You're then going to just sprinkle the cheese on the pan about enough to cover around the entire pan. And then all you're gonna do is you just- can't see the pan. Sorry. There all you go. Is just let it sit and it'll melt and then we're gonna put the meat on once it is. Is that for one person? Yes, this will be for one person. So you're gonna make me one of those too, right? Yeah, yours is the first one. Your, yours is the tester one to see if I can do it correctly, and then I'll Wow, it. so I don't get the perfected version. No. I get I get the, Listen, I let's had to make the try it. it. I had to make it. So now what happens is, we're gonna put a little bit of the sweet onion that I chopped up a little earlier, and some of the cilantro. I love cilantro. And now that it's crispy, we're gonna take some of the, wherever I put the tongs, some of the meat, just right on it. Oh, look at that. Then we fold it. So you're like basically making a burrito, but with cheese. Yes. So this is perfectly keto. Yes. Borderline carnivore. I mean, you have the chilies in there, but like definitely ketovore. And once it's done, all you gotta do is safely get it out if I cannot mess it up. Now you have a cheese crusted beer. So I need my bread. Yes. But as a bread aficionado, you have not tried the PSMF bread where we add keto chow. And it still amazes me that this happens with just egg whites. But this is a slice. Now I put a little bit of uh, dehydrated onions on the top, 
but I want you to try that and tell me what you think. Because I think you have tried the regular PSMF bread, and you said it was like too, like chewy, right? What do you think of that? I mean, obviously, it's not regular yeah, well, listen, bread. It's pretty good for a bread substitute, but for me, I, I think it's pretty good, especially if you're trying to have a sandwich. Because I wouldn't want a sandwich. It is pretty good for for a. What about if we dip it? Can we dip that in the sauce? Yes, actually. So, hurt your eyes because mine is currently baking. Okay. <laughs> I, I am gonna sh I'm gonna show this just because look at these beautiful pieces of bread that Anthony handmade. But it's cool that we can have some type of bread yeah. using the protein sparing bread. So I want two pieces. Here's an extra piece over here. So what you do. So that it gets nice and crispy. You're gonna take this, whatever you want to do to put it on, and you'll just. Paint oh, because there's right fat on. in there's there, so it's gonna it. make it really crispy when you toast that. Yes. Now you actually, if you don't have an air fryer, you can even put this back onto you like your hot on, pan. Yeah, that's what he does in the video. If you watch it. Are you gonna put it on both sides, or you just put it on one just side? Just on one, so that it's not so that your hands aren't on fire. You can even put it on like an electric blackstone or a regular blackstone. Yeah. So I made a, a, a spicy yum yum sauce. It's in the video if you watch this video. But it's got sour cream, mayo, uh, I put Frank's Red Hot in, and then cumin and chipotle powder, and it makes just a nice little, like a spicy mayo. We actually have a yum yum sauce. We've just never made a video on it, so we'll have to do a video on that. Maybe you can assist us with that one. Okay, so so this is a yum yum sauce, right? Yes. I wanna try that. Oh my gosh, that's so good. Okay, so what do we do? We have the two pieces of bread. So I made my You put sandwich. some tomato and lettuce on there, right? Yes. Now, do we put some of this on here? Yes. Okay. Oh, I just spilled it all over the counter, but that's okay. Caleb will clean it. <laughs> okay, so, boy, this is like a pleasure to not have to cook today. Okay, so now what do I do? I actually put a piece of this on here. But yeah, if you can. My, mine fit completely on my sandwich because of the way that mine was just designed, my bread was designed. Okay. So you, you can see it's, it is crispy. It is very crispy. We're, we're not even gonna, we're just gonna Rip it. tear it. Okay, so I'm gonna put that on there. The first thing I wanna do, oh, look at that. I just wanna try this. You can go ahead and do that. I'm... Oh my gosh. Wow. Wow. Good job, Anthony. Okay, so now we're gonna take a bite of the sandwich. I already took a bite of the sandwich. J just ignore that Anthony is eating non-keto bread, but I've got keto bread. Yeah. Oh my gosh. That is delicious. And then you also have, if whenever you, you, you feel so pleased, you just dip it right back into the, the drippings that I have in a... Oh, we're going to do that. Let's, let's give that a good dip. I feel like you're, this, is, you're, this is like a Latin, almost like au jus sandwich, right? Mm-hmm. Wow. I don't think your mom is eating this good with Michelle. No. Wow. I don't eat this good half the time. I know you're a pretty good cook. So I'm going to leave a link for that video right up here. What is the name of the channel? Joshua Weiss Weissman. Joshua Weissman. And yes. what is he? Does he cook a lot of stuff that we could eat on keto? He does make take some out stuff. the bread. This yeah. is completely keto. He, he does make some stuff. He, he makes it. He's very, he's very extra. Let's just put it that way. But he's amazing. There he was one point cook. I was telling your mom, there was one point in the video where as he's assembling all yeah. this and he's making it and he was like, and well, what is Please, it? dear God, include the fat. <laughs> yes. Like, please include the fat. This is delicious. Thank you so much for cooking for me, Anthony. I'm going to go enjoy it. This was so good, but it is so filling. I can't finish it. I, I ate the one that was with the sandwich. Now, yes, that protein sparing bread is very filling because it's all protein. But look at it, I still have like half of my wrap. So I'm gonna just kind of leave this. I'm not gonna put it in the refrigerator. I don't want it to get cold. 
Uh, I'm gonna probably put it in the microwave and maybe eat like in another hour because I haven't really eaten anything today. But right now I am so stuffed and I think it's so filling because it's so much protein. But then there's also a lot of fat because you're talking about some of the best meat you can get, like the chuck roast and you know the you know beef short ribs and the oxtail, so much collagen. You guys have got to try this. Good morning. It is Saturday and it is the day that we're gonna take Jenny out and let her just explore, hopefully flush out some birds. She's practicing for a hunt test and we get to be along and see her do what she does best and she is awesome like i'm i know it's i'm biased because this is my grand puppy but i'm telling you right now she is the best dog ever that's just like yeah unbiased opinion um so i went downstairs they do serve breakfast but it was just cereal some eggs that i'm not sure what was going on inside of those they had gravy and i certainly don't know what's in the gravy and then they had sausages that were super overcooked so even if they're completely fine i didn't want to eat them so i did get some coffee with uh butter in there i did check they had the ingredients on the label so i was sure that it was butter and not not like a whipped butter like spread which is really margarine or canola oil or something like that so um thankfully we packed along some sausages which i popped into the microwave and i have a couple of the um ready to go eggs and i did find some cream cheese downstairs i may have a little bit of that as like a dipping sauce for my sausages when i was at publix yesterday they had um, some pepper and they had mustard in packets like this and so I like to grab some of these just to have it no matter what we eat we're ready to go good morning it is Saturday morning and it's very weird to be doing this without Rachel I'm so used to her sitting right here um, but uh, she's having a great time I talked to her this morning and she's having a really good time Ginny slept with her um, Michelle actually sent me a picture last night and she's like my dog doesn't want to sleep with me, only wants to sleep with grandma. So I thought that was kind of funny. Uh, so that food that Anthony made yesterday was so good. I really hope you guys try it. I apologize if uh, you got triggered by him showing the bread, but I felt it was important to show like how much effort he puts into cooking when he does it. Like he goes all out. He makes the bread, he makes everything. And it was really good on the protein sparing bread. But you honestly don't even need bread. You can just eat that thing like a burrito and it's just as good. The bread just kind of allows you to have a sandwich, but definitely not necessary. But it's definitely a meal that your whole family could enjoy and you can mess with it a lot too. Like if you don't have any oxtail, don't put oxtail in it. If you don't have any short ribs, don't put short ribs in it. So it's more about the flavor profiles that come out. So I'm, I was really excited. I think there's some left, so I'm probably gonna eat some later. Right now we're gonna have some breakfast. I have three eggs that I scramble in the Vitamix and then I basically cook them like pancake style with some corned beef that I had left over from the other day. There's a little bit of corned beef left so I probably will eat that later on today. And then I have coffee and since it's only Rachel and I didn't you know, make an entire pot because I don't drink as much coffee as Rachel, um, this is the mint uh, Nespresso pod it's like a seven and a half ounce one. I got them at Christmas time. It's a limited edition flavor and now they're gone and it is really, really good. So inside of there, I have a half a tablespoon of butter and then what I do is I pour the coffee into the Vitamix after I scramble my eggs. So any egg that happened to be left in the Vitamix, that's in the coffee as well. And then I'm gonna have some electrolytes because I am really, really low on electrolytes. I mean, my, my calves are just cramping up um, I felt it all night long, um, some like kind of like just pain in the back of my head. Like I know when I'm low on electrolytes, people ask us all the time, like, how do you know? You just begin to feel it. Muscle cramps, headaches, things like that. I'm not sure why I felt like I drank a lot of electrolytes yesterday. I did uh, drink uh, two Redmonds, but I guess it just wasn't enough. And so I'm gonna have also an element orange salt. And what I like to do with it a newly discovered thing I discovered uh, during, in December is taking my electrolytes and adding them into sparkling water. You just have to do it quick. You have to pour them in there and uh, get the cap on because otherwise it's just gonna really bubble up. 
and it, it almost makes it like a zip fizz. I like that bubbly feeling. And uh, so I'm having the citru the orange salt uh, from Element. People ask us a lot of times, like, what's the difference between Element and Redmond? Um, for the most part, they're the same. They have pretty much the same amount of uh, potassium, the same amount of magnesium, the same amount of sodium. Uh, I find the elements to be a touch sweeter, and uh, they also have a couple flavors that Redmond doesn't have, and, just, and vice versa too. Redmond has some flavors that you know they don't have. Like I prefer the Redmond watermelon over the Element, but Redmond doesn't have orange, so I use the orange from Element. And uh, also, Redmond is much cheaper if you're buying, um, you because you could buy it in tubs and stuff. And we also have a discount code for Redmond. So with Element. We have a link down below and that link will allow you to get some samples where you just pay shipping, but they don't have like a discount. The only discount is if you buy four boxes. Uh, but for the most part, they're the same and I just kind of switch back and forth. I probably use Redmond a lot more. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna eat and then um, there is a water park for dogs down in Dana Beach. It's about 25 minutes away from us. And uh, we've looked at it before, but we've never gone there. And I figure since Rachel is off with Michelle with Ginny and they're having fun going hunting, I'm gonna take Tabitha down to this dog park because it's a water park. You have to pay $5 to get in. They only have two hours a day where you can go. The rest of the day, you have to rent it out privately. But they have a beach and they have a dock where dogs can practice dock diving and stuff. So I figured I was gonna take her down, kind of scope it out because they allow you to rent out the facility uh, by the hour where you don't have to have other dogs and it's pretty inexpensive. Um, I think it comes out to be like $50, which isn't bad because you can have up to eight dogs. So we wanted to kind of scope it out. So maybe sometimes Jenny wants to go down in there and practice dog diving and not have to be around other dogs. And it'd be much cheaper than going to shows where you have to pay per jump. So that's what we're going to do. And then I'm probably going to play with my drones a little bit today. Uh, I haven't stepped outside, so I don't know how windy it is. They're off and we're going to follow them on the four wheelers. It really is given to perspective, like being educated about the breed of your dog because look how much running and exercise they're driving. Sometimes they play together. And then you, you know, if you get into this dog and then you just take it and expect it to sit on the couch or you know, it's just not good. Teddy, find it. Find it, Teddy. Teddy. Right. Come on, find it. Come on, Jay. Got him, boy. Find it. Pay pipe. Pay pipe. Oh, yeah. Oh, I think we got a situation here. Whoop. Now, in a field trial, if they move five feet, oh, there she goes. You're out of the competition. Oh, they, really? Yeah. They got to stay pretty much where they point. They oh, wow. Stay. So you've got one pointing and one supporting the point. So they both are indicating there's a bird there. And again, it's amazing that they're not going in there after the bird. Oh, look at, oh, look at. So they, so they have the success. Good job. And then he shoots like a blank gun. There it goes. Hi, whoa. Good job. Wow. Good job. These dogs absolutely worship this man. <laughs> you can hear the bird. You can hear the bird and they're not running after it. There it goes. Whoop. Whoa! So we are here at Tiger Tail Lake South Dog Park, and Tabitha is super excited. She like she is pulling me. And when you have a 120 pound dog that wants to go somewhere, she is a little uncontrollable. Come on, Tab. Bring it here. Tabitha is in her glory. She just loves the water. 
Tabitha has taken upon herself to be the retriever for all of the balls that the other dogs don't want to get. So whenever somebody throws a ball and the dog doesn't go get it, Tabitha goes and gets it and brings it back to the owner. Well, Tabitha lost her Frisbee. It flew way out. She got about 90% there and decided she wanted to come back in. She was too tired. So it is floating all the way out there. So Tabitha and I found a place where there's no other dogs and she's just retrieving all of the tennis balls that nobody gets. We ran around a lot today and I am super hungry. I actually got two double Whoppers with cheese. And yes, I'm going to eat this entire thing and the other one, but this was a really quick on the road treat and I'm, I'm ready to, to hork this down. It is 8.30 and I am just getting around to eating dinner now. Uh, when we got home from the dog park, uh, I started working on videos and then we premiered a video and then I started answering comments because I'm a little behind. Then I started working on fixing a couple of drones because I broke a propeller on one of my drones and just kind of didn't think about eating. So I'm getting ready to eat right now. Rachel is on her way home. I should be home in about an hour and a half or so. And I want to be able to hear all about, uh, you know, their weekend and what they did and about Ginny going bird hunting and learning how to flush out birds and stuff. So I'm going to eat my dinner now. And what I'm eating is the rest of the corned beef we had. So I just chopped it up into small pieces. And then I melted uh, one slice of Swiss cheese. I melted over the top of it, but then when I flipped it onto the plate, it went the other way, obviously. I have one slice of the Maria Emmerich bread that I put a half a tablespoon of butter on it, quarter tablespoon on each side, and then I lightly toast it on the Blackstone. And then I have a little bit of uh, the meat that Anthony made last night. There's a whole bunch of it left over. And I put some of the yum yum sauce on top of it. Uh, so this is what I'm gonna eat. I've got uh, sparkling water here that I made in the uh, soda stream. And I also put in here one package of the watermelon Redmond Relight. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat and then we'll finish this vlog up tomorrow morning. I'm back, baby. Together again. Did you miss me? Of course I miss you. Your mom actually called me on Saturday night because she hadn't heard from mm. you because you I didn't hear from you Saturday night. You were just out. I was getting pictures from Michelle of Ginny deciding she was no longer sleeping with Michelle. She is now sleeping with Grandma. And she was I'm like... Cuddly. Then she sent me another picture. She was like... And then she got up, jumped down, got a drink of water, and went right back into bed with Rachel. Well, you get to... You know, you don't get to sleep at Grandma's house or with Grandma very often, right? So it's just... I, I'm just different. Yeah. I'm just I'm just a strange. See, your mom called me to check on me, which I really appreciated. And she was like, how are you doing? Because... It's been probably four or five years since we've spent a night apart. It's been a while. And yeah, she knows that like when you're gone, I one of two things happens with me. And that is either I snack all day long because I miss you and uh -huh. I'm bored or I don't eat at all. So Thanks what to Anthony, I ate a lot on Saturday. But, but it wasn't for the meeting. No, no, but yesterday I pretty much went all day. I had some breakfast and then I ate at nine o'clock at night because Aww. I'm just like trying to distract myself. But I was distracting myself with work instead of snacking, which was what I would normally do is just mindlessly eat all day long. Well, we had the great privilege of going to Quincy, Florida and visiting Cliff at Shadow Facts uh, kennels. Mm -hmm. Nine generations of Gordon Setters that uh, that have gone through that kennel and they live on 120 acres. That's so awesome. Cliff is just a master and watching what he can do with a gun dog, with a hunting dog and see how every single bush on his property is planted with these dogs development in in That's mind so cool. it was it was just such a neat opportunity and then to get to see our city dog jenny who's just kind of like dipping her feet her paws so right. to speak in the hunting world you know for competitions and stuff 
just to see what is natural on the inside of them. Right. Because we don't have 120 acres for right. her to live on. And yet, as soon as she I'd was... Like to. Right? As soon as she was placed in these conditions, she just did what she was naturally born to do. It's like in her... G it's in her DNA. It's in her DNA to do it. And it was just really cool. We are starting off our Sunday morning and then we are going to close this out because I'm sure this is going to be a long vlog with lots of footage. Lots of stuff to show you. But, uh, so we're having coffee. We did the entire pot of coffee. It's actually not quite the entire pot, but almost the entire pot. The entire pot has one scoop of caramel macchiato it's because back, it's baby. back in stock. Uh, if you use the link down below, you're going to get 10% off of your entire order so long as it's not a subscription. I just love it so much. But this is back in Such stock. Such a great coffee. Uh, so uh, we got one scoop of that and two eggs for the entire pot. So the eggs are our fat source. Uh, and then this is also coffee because Rachel's on her way out the door. I still have to take a shower. And then Rachel's eating a hot dog. I'm eating a hot dog. A, a Teton, Teton Polish sausage. Yeah. I just... I just wanted something to eat this morning and I got a long day ahead of me. And so I I'm not gonna fight with myself over that. I'm, go I'm gonna eat a little breakfast and I, and I feel good. And since uh, we will not be vlogging today cause it's Sunday, um, just to let you guys know and to let you know, dinner will be um, some of Anthony's leftover food and eggs because the girls, are, the temperature has been like over 80 degrees every day. So they're and back. they are in full production Everything's mode. Everything's back giving us six eggs a day and I just had gone and bought five dozen eggs. So we're like, so now like eggs, the eggs are coming out our ears and we can't eat them fast enough and yeah. the basket is filling up. We'll make a couple loaves of bread. So yeah, so that is, uh, that is the plan for today. So if you like seeing videos like this, take a look at some of the videos that we have linked right over there. Also, make sure you take a look at the most recent video, which I'm gonna put right over here. But whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon, and that way, every single time we have a little adventure separately, you'll be alerted to it. Till next time. Bye. Bye.